Hello, um, this is a short welcome video for the children who are joining the research class at St Anne's and Guardian Angels. Um, we will be St Joseph class um, and I am Miss Tumleton. I'm class teacher in this class. Um, I've really enjoyed getting to know the children so far and I'm really looking forward to the year ahead. We have some other adults in the classroom. So we have Tracy, who's one of our TAs, who helps us out with our learning throughout the day. And we also have Tessa, who helps us out with our learning. Um, they'll be around, you'll see them at the, at the beginning of the day sometimes and at the end of the day, so you can ask some questions, they're there, they're here to help as well. Um, the children will also spend quite a lot of time, they'll see, uh, we've got another TA called Rafi, um, and they'll see Mrs Kinchley as well, so Mrs Kinchley will be teaching them on Wednesday morning, so they'll have, they've got quite a few adults that they get to meet, which is great. Um, just a little bit about the school day and, and what your child needs to bring to school, so really important especially um, as we go throughout the year that your child brings to, to school a bag um, you'll see some of the things that will go into the bag later on but al also any letters that we need to send home any books any correspondence um, will will mainly go through that bag so it's really important that your child has a bag and that you check it every day and send it back into school um, really re it's really really important they have a label on their bag just because as you can see they all look very similar so um, yeah make sure they're labeled so they don't get lost uh, the other thing that's really important is a water bottle so please make sure your child comes in with a water bottle uh, and the, the water bottle would be great if you could put a label on them um, just so that if they do get lost or they're taken somewhere else within the school it's easy for them to find their way back to us you don't have to have or, uh, as you can see on the screen some really nice um, labels here but you don't have to have Sim uh, just a simple plain white label with anyone would be great on the note of labels um, see at the bottom it says please go crazy with labels we you can't put enough labels on stuff for reception children so please make sure they've got labels on their jumpers absolutely anything that they bring to school it wouldn't do any harm to have a label on it because we've only been here for four weeks now and we've got a big pile of cardigans and jumpers and clothing that hasn't got labels on and, and, and are now not claimed um, so it's in everyone's best interest to do that a day in uh, the reception class so I won't talk you through the day but it's probably a good point to just pause the video um, and have a look our days change slightly um, as a uh, as the week goes on but this is what the general day will look like So, as well as all that other stuff that they're doing in the week, all the learning that they're doing, we also have lots of assemblies. So, on a Monday, every s Monday morning, we'll have our whole school worship assembly where um, Miss Nuna or, or, or Miss Laxton will lead it um, and all the children will take part. On a Tuesday, we have musical worship, which we do in our classroom at the moment, um, where we just sort of have a great time and sing some songs. The, on Wednesday, the children will take will, will plan and um, deliver a class liturgy for the children in their class and the children in nursery, which is a really nice chance for them to become leaders in prayer. The Thursdays, we have a, uh, our daily exam. At the moment, we're looking at um, our five finger exam. So the children have been learning about it, but please, please ask them about it. Get them to tell you about it. And then, uh, of course, on Friday, we have our Star Award, where we, we have celebration of all the great stuff that the children have been, been doing in the week. Library. So we're, we're lucky, we've got two library slots. Um, on Monday mornings we will be going um, to the library to see Miss Lalva who will be leading story time for us. So the children won't change their books then, they don't actually need to take their library books with them, we'll just go and sit and listen to a story, Miss Lalva will tell them a story and then Sometimes we'll do some little challenges and tasks in the library, so it's lovely. And then every Friday in the afternoon, we will return any library books and then they can choose a new one, so we'll fresh their library books. These books are really important because the library book that they take home will give them a really good opportunity to, to get a love for reading. And we really want them to enjoy the book that they choose. It's, yeah, so, so it's really important to make sure that um, their books are back in school every Friday so that they can be changed. Ah, PE with Mr Bailey. So, 
The children have PE with Mr. Bailey on a Wednesday afternoon. They, um, they, they don't need to get changed because the, the early years uniform um, is, is suitable for running around and they do a lot of running around all day. So we will usually go out to the playground if it's dry enough um, and if not we'll do some PE in the hall with Mr. Bailey. So far the children have loved it. So it's been great. Phonics. So um, we have started learning our first sounds at school and the children have done a super job. Um, they've picked up the sounds quickly and they've been doing lots of practice at school but we'd really like for them to do some practice at home. The more, the, the more they do the better it will become, the better their sounds will become and the quicker they'll pick them up and it will just help with all areas of their learning. So we, um, this, is our, this is a rough teaching schedule of how we're learning them. Um, today we, we finished um, learning the m sound, so this sound here, um, and they're, so they, they've got enough, they've got their first set of sounds. Um, it's just really, really important that they're not just doing this at school, so if anywhere at home, if they spot any of the sounds, if you can hear any of the initial sounds in words, so if you're sitting at a table, you can say t -t -t table, anything that can sort of help with their understanding of the, of the sounds. We will be sending home some, some phonics cards for them to practice. So some of the cards will just be sounds like these. Um, and then some, you'll see they'll have some words to read because of course, now they know their sounds, they can start to read some words. So we, um, we, we break up the sounds and that is, uh, we call that segmenting. So we'll segment each sound and then, so they'll recognize each sound and then we'll blend them together to read the word. So for this, for example, would be t a l tail. That's how we do it. Um, this is the trickiest skill within phonics, so they tend to pick their sounds up quickly, but the, the segmenting and the blending is the tricky part. So practicing these at home is just would just is just amazing for their reading. So you can't do enough of it. So any practice is perfect. And you'll start to see some of these words come back in their book bags. Yeah, so please, please, please practice these sounds as much as you possibly can whenever you can. You can see the picture here. They, they absolutely love learning new sounds and they've, they've been so enthusiastic about it. Um, and we just want that to continue, so just keep, keep them loving. Writing, so, ooh, writing, so it, we've noticed that the children need to do a lot of work on their pencil grip. So it's really important, any opportunity that you get at home, get them writing or making marks or drawing anything that involves using a pencil or some something to write to, to make marks with get them to do it but really encourage them to hold it properly so can you see you can see the grip here so this is just a standard uh, pencil grip we want them to we want them to do their best to write like this all the time because it will give them the strength and and uh, the, it'll make the strokes of writing much easier for them any sort of practice is great get them writing on paper these we do a lot of these sorts of activities in school where we follow a pattern um, and it gets us used to some of the strokes of writing but dot to dots are fantastic get them to follow dots um, any sort of stuff where they're making marks on the paper and and if you're feeling up to it then get them to practice some of their their phonics sounds so they know they know some of the sayings that we say when we do it so for for the sound a or a we go around the apple and down the leaf. The children have been learning them at school, but if you practice them at home, it would just make things much, much easier for them. The another thing that is really good is things like Play-Doh and, and anything that you can they can manipulate with their hands. They're really good for just strengthening their wrists. Because if you uh, if you do any writing with them at home, you'll notice that the pen's often quite loose in their hands. Um, they don't have great motor uh, fine motor skills, so that, that wrist strength is really important. So anything that's getting them stronger is going to help their writing overall. Maths. So, you can. Maths, maths is everywhere. The great thing about maths is everywhere. At school, we'll be doing lots of counting, lots of um, adding amounts together. So we might be adding a group of two bears with a group of four bears and counting how many we've got in total. So any counting activity is great. If you've got a fruit bowl at home, count how many bananas are in the fruit bowl, how many oranges are in the fruit bowl. 
you've got a packet of sweets look at the different colors can they count how many different how many blue ones there are or how many red ones there are whatever just try and include maths in everything it, it, it can be quite easy actually um, and and enjoy numbers and shapes there's there's numbers and shapes everywhere so on the buses on road signs this has got numbers in it but it's also a shape it's a circle so do as much as you can to do that and another thing then we wouldn't normally promote sort of watching tv but if you if you watch um on on C cbbc or cbb's i'm not sure which one it is um, there's a great maths program called number blocks and um <laughs> if you're going to let them watch some tv then this is a great one to watch because it, it is a, a fantastic learning resource for them as well so yeah maths is everywhere so if you would like to get in contact with me um, the best thing you can do is to call the office or just to catch me at the end of the day so if it's a quick chat then um, we can talk about it at the end of the day and I'll be talking to you over the year but if you um, if it's something where you think you need a little bit longer give the office a call and um, whoever's in the office will, will arrange for us to have an appointment um, I, I ask me as many questions as you possibly can I, I would I'd love it I love I love being able to talk to you about the children it's really important that we have that um, if you need resources we've got so many resources so if you need help with maths or writing or some reading resources come in and speak to me we can give you whatever you need so let us know because we want them to do as much as they can